Hey guys, it is very important to understand when to use map and filter method of an array in JavaScript. Let's discuss and understand them in layman's terms. Let's say you have a team of 4 employees who are working very hard and delivering all the tasks within a time even in this pandemic time. So you decided to give a bonus to each employee irrespective of their individual performance. In this case, you can use the map method. Let's see how to use it. In app.js, we have an array of 4 employees JSON data. Use the map method and add the bonus component to the each employee's salary. And for that, we can use the map method employees.map and this map method will take a callback function. So function. The callback function of map method will receive two parameters. The first one is employee object in this case. And the second one is the index of employee. And now let us define the bonus here. Let bonus equal to 1000 let's say. So what map does technically? So technically map method creates a new array with results of a calling function for every array element. The map method calls the provided function once for each element in an array and in order. So this callback function will be called for each element of employees array. So here employee dot salary plus equal to bonus and then just return the employee as i said this map method will create a new array so let us assign this results of map method to a new array let employees with bonus and then let us print the result employees with bonus press f12 and here we have let me just expand this and here you can see that at the zero index, we have grade A name Chris. Now you can see salary 11,000. Earlier it was 10,000. And the same way, name John. And here you can see that salary 21,000. Earlier it was 20,000. So it added this bonus to each employee. So when you would like to do some operation on each element of an array, in that case, you can go for the map method. Here in this callback function of map method, it is not mandatory to return employee object each time. You can simply return the salary too. You can just return this expression. So now if you save it, you just receive the salary. Even you can pass like this new salary and you can just take this. So you can format in your own way and you can just return value. And if you don't return anything, it will be undefined. So for example, you just leave it like this without returning the value, you just add the bonus to the employee salary but if you save it you will receive undefined 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 the map method will not mutate the original array which means it doesn't do any changes to the original array so you can just print the original array of this method console.log employees you can see that employees is unchanged you have to return if you want to receive any values now let us discuss about filter method let us consider the same employees example now instead of adding the bonus to the each employee, let us add the bonus to the employees whose grade is A. Let us use the same thing employees dot filter. Like map method, filter method also will take a callback function. The callback function of filter method will receive two parameters. The first one will be employee and then index. As we discussed, we need to add the bonus to the employees whose grade is A. So let us add a condition now. If employee dot grade equal to equal to A and then take this logic and return employee. So what this filter method will do? The filter method creates an array with all array elements that pass as a condition. In this case, filter method will create a new array with all employees who satisfies this condition. Let employees with grade A. And now let us go and print this. This time we have received array with two elements. So here Krish and Smith only having the grade A. So other employees like John and John are having the B and C grade. Here you may think that let us add a condition in map callback function also and return the result. So let's add here. You can see here still you have four results. Here you can see that now at the first index we have undefined and third index also you have undefined. In map method it always returns the data. So even though the condition is not passed this will return the undefined. If this condition is passed it will return the value. 
Map method and filter method both will not execute on empty values. For example, if we don't have any data in the employees, just empty value, then you can see that you get the empty results. And what if employees array is undefined? Just you have employee, then you will get the error. So saying that cannot read properties of undefined. So that's the reason it is always best practice to do the null check. So you simply write a logic like this just put employees and so take the same thing and use for the filter also save it and remove this save it now you can see just undefined 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 these are not executed because we have the employees undefined so just undo it the second common point of map and filter method is they don't mutate the original array this is about map and filter method hope you understood when to use map and filter Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.